Um, you can make this stuff look even cooler and more fun, single sword, um, because they don't have a shield in the way of their gut. And this idea that we're talking about is how our body pivot covers for our closing range that equals a very easy torso shot to, to finish the fight, right? So if we apply the baiting mentality we were just doing, I really want him to swing on that forearm. Uh, I can set up what I like to call the samurai cut, ideally all in one motion. I steal the thunder of where he's swinging because my movement naturally parries it, and I counter moving through it, like so. You guys feel what I'm talking about? So because, and it's all though because I could be pretty intentional about knowing where he's going to swing. I really have to sell it, but if I do, and I pivot my body as I'm moving forward, there's hardly any way I don't get a bunch of torso cuts as he's wondering where I went. <laughs> cool? Um, I went down and under there too, which if he drops his guard down, he's going to block. Um, that's okay. Because at this, I should hopefully be close enough. I, just, I reach around it, I shove it down, and hit here. It could be a stab instead. Um, so he goes for the cross. I go through him with a stab and keep coming this way. Cool. Um, let's swap it up. I'm going to be the inside non sword lane. So again, now I've drifted my sword side out. I really want you to hit this part of my body. Oh, this is juicy. Right? I get any of this I want. Different angle. That sword side drifts out. Please swing at my open inside. Wherever you want. <laughs> All because you're stepping and pivoting your body. Cool? This has been offensive defense with Bakhtar. Woohoo!